Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to do a quick review of the Chorus Dora GPS and also how to uh, upload GPX files to it. It's not as uh, straightforward and as simple as one would think, or maybe it is simple and I'm just not technically evolved yet. But uh, real quickly, uh, this is the uh, Coros. I currently have it plugged into my uh, computer and it's currently charging. Uh, this, I'm going to unplug it here so I can show you, has a dial on it that will rotate and it tells you what you're looking for, training, cycling, fitness, battery usage, the history, and systems. Just below that, there's a tab. And if you want to back up, you just back up on this, or if you want to put the device to sleep, you just hold it for three seconds. To wake it back up, you simply tap on it, and it's awake. Uh, this worked really well. Uh, my biggest hassle was trying to figure out how to upload GPX files to it. Uh, that really did not come with instructions. I have not found anything on YouTube that was clear. And so I just kind of stumbled through it over and over. I wrote an email to Chorus a couple of times. I've got good responses from them. And I have it figured out now, so I'm going to share that information with you how to go about it. I use... Uh, Komoot is my primary source of navigation on my bicycle rides, and as such, it works very, very well. Uh, you'll have these boxes pop open when you plug this thing in and it's charging. Uh, frankly, you do not want those on um, showing. You want to make sure those are closed out while you're doing this operation. So, I'll go over here, open up my browser. Now I use uh, Komoot, as I stated, and I've already uh, started planning out uh, a trip for next year in Europe. And so I have it up here on the screen, and this is uh, not just one day, this is actually gonna be two or three days of riding. And, but you take the overall course, say you're gonna go from Frankfurt to Munich, you would download that one because that's the file that you want to put into the GPS. Um, I also break this down day by day. Uh, that stays on Komoot, and I run Komoot on my phone for verbal cues. I don't leave the screen on, and I follow the GPX that I have with Coros. So first of all, we'll just download this. Now, if you had a Garmin, you could just connect your Garmin, it automatically download it to it. But this is not a Garmin, so you can't do that. So, we're going to download this manually. It's going to be saved to my desktop because that's where I save downloads to. going to double click or right click this, and I'm going to go to where it says Open With. I'm going to open with Coros. I've already signed on to Coros in my uh, browser, so it's already there. So, go down here, hit Save Route. I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to sync it. And it's synced. It's there. So, it's already on my device. So, I'm going to unplug this real quick and show you that it's there. Spin down here to navigation, click on navigation. This is a local ride from Port Townsend, Washington, where I'm currently at. I'm just doing some out and backs. And then next year when I'm back in Norway, I'll start right there. I just click on this road and uh, I would hit start the route and away I would go. It's as simple as that. I hope this was instructional and useful to you. If you like this channel, please hit like, subscribe, and share it. And Semper Fi, and thank you again for watching.